We are fighting a losing battle. We are losing that battle because we don't have the support of our own brothers and sisters in so-called liberty. All the younger generations growing up and even grown have been subjected to so much political and social propaganda from the media, public schools, progressive hyper-liberal universities, and government that they don't trust or believe the rest of us when we warn them about the changes in the laws that challenge their rights as citizens. They don't know that they're losing their freedoms because they don't know what freedom is. They never learned. It was never taught, and they aren't going to seek it out because they don't realize anything is wrong. The younger generations coming up don't really know our history. They don't really know our rights. They don't really understand our government. And they don't know who fought and died for what and why. And they don't care. The pioneers of the past are just that. In the past. And the past doesn't matter because all the focus is on the future. And the past is made out to be a weight dragging humanity down. And true enough, some of it is, but not all of it. So our fundamental freedoms and liberties are slowly chiseled away at, year after year, as the younger generations coming up don't realize it. They never experienced the freedoms that we have lost, so they don't know the difference. Basically, if you don't know what you're missing, you can't miss it. So why should they even care about something they don't even know about or understand if they do? And make no mistake, this is by design. We have news media that can't be trusted to tell the truth. There are no more journalists, only actors reading teleprompters. Public schools no longer teach our rights in long-dead civics courses, but teach against the Constitution instead. And this is encouraged by the government and other groups with personal social agendas to literally frighten our young people away from even wanting freedom or liberty. And indeed, they are perfectly willing to give it away. And for those who aren't frightened, well, they're easily distracted by modern entertainment. So it's all up to you listening right now. You are the only one who can make a difference. Waiting for someone else to solve the problem is part of the problem. Do you have children? Educate them yourself. Do they have to go to public school? Find out what they're learning and deprogram it every day when they get home. Find other like-minded individuals and try to work together. And don't be afraid to protest. And know what true protesting is. Protesting is not a clever comment on Twitter. If you want some solid examples of what it takes to sway opinion, I suggest taking a hard look at Gandhi or Martin Luther King Jr. And if more of a show of force is needed, look at the events that unfolded at the Bundy Ranch. If a government sees that the people are unwilling to back down, eventually they will step back. Remember that. And also remember that preserving your freedom is up to you. No one else can do it for you. So stay frosty, folks, and thanks for listening.